Okay, this is a tutorial on the fascia and retinacula of the foot. So we're looking here at an inferior view of the foot. So this is the plantar surface of the foot. So I've removed, removed away the skin layer, and this here is the plantar aponeurosis. So this is similar to the palmar aponeurosis that we have in the hand. So posteriorly here, we can see the attachment of this um, plantar aponeurosis on the calcaneus. So it actually attaches to the medial process of the calcaneal tuberosity. And then it extends forward and expands uh, along the digit. So it forms these longitudinal bands of um, uh, fibres. Um, and it's not shown on this model here, but just distal to the metatarso phalangeal joint, we've got some connections, horizontal connections between these longitudinal bands. So this, these horizontal connections form the superficial transverse metatarsal ligament. And you can see the deep ligament, which is actually shown in this model, but the superficial one isn't. So you can see the deep transverse metatarsal ligament lying over the MTP joints, but the superficial metatarsal uh, ligaments are not shown here. But these are just formed by transverse fibres interconnecting these longitudinal fibres. So the plantar aponeurosis is essentially a thickening of the deep fascia of the foot, um, and it supports the long longitudinal arches of the foot. So I've just rotated the model around, and we're looking anteriorly at the foot in the leg now, the distal end of the leg. So I'm just going to show you the extensor retinacula. So these retinacula hold the extensor tendons in place. So you've also got retinaculum retinacula in the hand. So I showed you in the tutorials I did on the hand and the wrist, uh, we looked at the flexor and extensor retinaculum, which held the tendons in place there. So these are the extensor retinaculum, which lie anteriorly on the distal leg. So this one here is the superior extensor retinaculum, and then you've got the inferior extensor, extensor retinaculum below it. So it's not shown very well on this model, um, but the superior extensor retinaculum attaches to the anterior margins of the tibia and on the anterior margin of the fibula. So it's actually shown out of place here, but it, you can see how it holds the extensor tendons in place. So this retinaculum is just a thickening of the deep fascia of the leg. So just below it is the inferior extensor retinaculum, and you can see the shape of this retinaculum. It's actually in this Y shape, so it's sort of a Y lying on its side, and you've got this upper, upper arm and a lower arm. So laterally, you can see the, the attachment of the inferior extensor retinaculum superiorly on the calcaneus. And then the upper arm attaches to the medial malleolus, and the lower arm uh, extends medially over the foot. And it actually extends right down to join with the plantar aponeurosis. So it's not shown accurately on this model, but it extends right down medial medially on the foot to join with the plantar aponeurosis. So in this view, you can also see this retinaculum. So the tendons which pass posterior medially uh, in the distal leg are the flexor tendons. So this is the flexor retinaculum, and it holds these tendons in place. And it actually overlies the tarsal tunnel. So the flexor retinaculum attaches to the medial malleolus and it runs inferior medially on the calcaneus and it actually attaches a bit below what it's shown here. So it also blends with the plantar aponeurosis. So I'll just rotate the model around. So we're now looking posteriorly here from a, at a posterior view. So we can see the flexor tendons running behind the medial malleolus inside the tarsal tunnel and underneath the flexor retinaculum. So I'll just isolate the flexor retinaculum. So you can just see this area underneath the flexor flex retinaculum. So you've got this depression between the medial malleolus and the medial and posterior sides of the talus. So there's a depression here just behind the medial malleolus and just by the medial part of the talus, medial and posterior part of the talus. So this area underneath the flexor retinaculum is the tarsal tunnel. So you've got this depression between the medial talus and the medial malleolus, and you've got this area um, posteriorly and medially on the calcaneus and the shelf of bone, this sustent sustentaculum talus. So this, this area underneath the flexor retinaculum is the tarsal tunnel. So we'll just take a look at some of the structures that run through the tarsal tunnel. So we'll start off with, uh, start off medially. So just looking medially, just behind the medial malleolus, we can see these two tendons. So you've got the tendon of the tibialis posterior, which lies deep to the tendon of the extensor digitorum longus. So the tibialis posterior tendon actually is um, more medial, and the extensor digitorum longus tendon, which sits on top of it, is just a little bit lateral. And just lateral to these tendons, you've got some important vessels. So I've just brought them in here, and these are the posterior tibial artery and the posterior tibial vein. So in this region, you can actually palpate the posterior tibial pulse. So the medial malleolus is easy to feel. It's this lump on the medial aspect of the ankle. So if you just feel a little bit behind the medial malleolus, you can feel the posterior tibial pulse. So we've also got the tibial nerve, which runs in the tarsal tunnel. And then finally, we've got this tendon, which is the flexor hallucis longus tendon. So this one lies most posterior and laterally, and it runs behind the talus and then under that shelf of bone on the calcaneus, the sustentaculum talus. So you can see that there, just running under that shelf of bone. So that's the flexor retinaculum and the tarsal tunnel and the contents of the tarsal tunnel, which is quite important to know. So just rotating the leg laterally, we'll just take a look at the fibula retinaculum. So you've got a superior fibula retinaculum and an inferior fibula retinaculum. So the superior fibula retinaculum is here, and you can see its attachment on the lateral malleolus and superiorly on the calcaneus. And these two retinaculum hold the perineal tendons in place. So the tendons of the perineus longus and perineus brevis, or fibularis longus and fibularis brevis. So the inferior fibula retinaculum, um, you can see here, and it actually blends with the inferior extensor retinaculum. So you can see that here, 